Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to SSH into your iPod Touch or your iPhone. This allows you to see um, all the files on your device and there's a lot of stuff that you need to know how to SSH. This does work on basically all types of firmwares no matter what and all types of devices no matter what. Now I need to warn you about something that is called the SSH virus and you can get this because um, by default on all the iPods and iPhones they have the exact same SSH password and so people can um, get into your device and there was this thing called an SSH virus going around for a while that allowed people to basically um, shut down your device and you couldn't use it. Uh, I have a video on how to change that so that it's secure and safe. Now there is um, an optional thing that you can download called SB settings. Most people probably already have it or know what that is but um, it has an SSH toggle so that you can turn it on and off because if you leave your SSH on it can drain your battery life. Okay, the first thing is to open up your Rock or your Cydia, whatever you download your packages from, and you're going to want to download one thing for this. There's one required thing, and it is called Open SSH um, with no spaces. So here obviously you would hit install and when you go home if you have something like um, SB settings if you slide across there there's a built in toggle right there that says SSH as you can see so that'll be what you use to turn it on and off. Okay, now for the program. If you're on Windows, it's called WinSCP, and on Mac, it's called CyberDuck. This is on a Windows computer, so this will be a download for WinSCP. So once you open up the pa web page, it's pretty basic for both operating systems, you know. Um, however yours works, just click it and extract, download it, and then you should get this. For hostname, you're going to put your IP address, which can be found if you have SB settings, or um, if you go to general, your Wi-Fi, then click the little over arrow on your Wi-Fi network. Now for the username, by default it's root, R-O-O-T, all lowercase, and password by de default is alpine, like the tree, all lowercase. Now for port number, it should be 22, and for your file protocol, it should say SFTP. Okay, so um, hit the login button, should log in. and then there are your files on your iPod Touch or your iPhone um, to terminate you can just hit the X or there is a button that says terminate in the program alright guys thanks for watching um, comment with any questions it's pretty easy but be sure to comment if you do have any questions